The following video is a Dennis the Menace production. Dennis the Menace, this name will never stick. On this episode of, is that going to be on the exam? We look at system development life cycle. All right, so the system development life cycle. Uh, the system development life cycle, SDLC for short, relates to the stages involved in creating an IT system. This includes, but is not limited to, suggestion as a product, delivery to client, and maintenance. Um, this helps ensure the product does not fail. Um, the graphic below shows kind of a five-step process, and that includes planning, analysis, design, implementation, and maintenance. But how it, we're going to be looking at a six-step design process for our IB diploma information. Um, but it'll be pretty cool to see how the different stages work. And as you see, the graphic shows it's a giant circle. So it never really ends. The system development life cycle is continuously ongoing. Even after one um, system is put out, it's implemented, and is continued at maintenance, sooner or later you're going to have something new, and you're going to have new problems that arise, and you're going to have to start planning again. So it's just going to continuously happen infinitely, supposedly. So that's kind of cool to see, and that shows that jobs are always going to be available, which is pretty important. So yeah. All right, so how many stages are in the SDLC? Um, this is actually a trick question. There's no true answer to it. Um, the reason for that is many different uh, groups and people disagree on what should be considered its own personal stage or what should be mixed with a different stage and how they all should be named. However, for our IB exams and IB diploma, we'll be looking at six main stages in the system development life cycle. Um, each stage I'm going to quickly describe in the next few slides, and then the rest of the videos of Chapter 15 will include all of them. However, the six main stages are analysis, design, development, testing, installation, and maintenance. So all six of these are very important in the system development life cycle, and we're going to get a quick look at all of them right now. Kind of, this is kind of like an overview, so then we're going to look at all of them later uh, in depth in the rest of the Chapter 15 videos. So we'll give a quick overview now. All right, so the first is analysis. Um, you have to analyze current systems and end-user needs. And then based on your analysis, you need to decide, does a new system need to be created or is it not cost effective? So like as the image shows, you're just going to go through with the, uh, not really a microscope or a, whatever that, a magnifying glass, that's what it's called. So you're going to go through carefully and analyze everything. Um, usually there might be like complaints from end users through uh, websites or customer service or um, just stuff like that. So you'll go through, look at those and see what's causing that problem. Is there any way you can fix it? Or do you have to create a whole new system that needs to um, focus on one issue? Like maybe you created a word processing system. However, it doesn't uh, easily convert from a Word document to a PDF file. And many people are having trouble with that. So you might have to like make a whole new system out of it. So that's what analysis is. All right, so design is uh, just simply making the plans for the solution. So if after analysis you decide that you need to make a new system, the design stage is where you lay out the plans. You make the blueprints for your new system. So that's really important because it's the design process that decides uh, how well rounded and if your system will work properly. All right, so development, aka implementa implementation stage, is when the system is created. So based on the designs or the blueprints that you made in the last stage, the development stage is where it's actually created. So that's pretty cool because you finally get to see your system coming together and it becomes real, not just words on a piece of paper or on a document in a computer. So that's pretty interesting. All right, the next important one is testing. Um, this is where you make sure the system functions properly. So after it has been designed and it has been created, you need to test it before you can release it. So the testing is when people will go through and try everything they need to and what um, people will be using it for to make sure it works properly, make sure it's reliable. And then as the image shows, after it's been uh, tested, then it can be released to the public and everything, which is important because then they're able to use it. 
All right, so then there's also installation. Um, installation, aka delivery, is the stage that involves the installation, obviously, of the software and any necessary hardware. So this is when it's like delivered to the client or the end user. And then this could also include the taking away of the old legacy system or not even necessarily the legacy system, just the old system that people are replacing. And the final stage is maintenance. Um, updates are continuously made to fix errors and bugs after the software has been purchased and installed. So these are just the continuous updates that you will the end users or clients will make after they've purchased a system just to make sure that it pro functions properly and that any bugs or errors in it have been uh, can be continuously fixed or uh, patched over. So that's important for the system as a whole. And it usually takes up a majority of a uh, project's budget because it's pretty much ongoing for a large amount of time and create, takes up a lot of time and resources. And these are the sources I use to gather information for this uh, PowerPoint. Uh, thank you very much for watching another Dennis the Menace production video. Dennis the Menace Productions, I can't believe that name stuck.